Welcome to the Bronco Exchange. This is part two. I'm your host, Dr. Shanessa Fenner, and I have two wonderful principals from the Spring Lake District. Yes, yeah. yes, Pine Forest District <laughs> Spring Lake Schools. I have Kylie Hill from Manchester Elementary School and Miss Say Kinsey Ship from Spring Lake Middle. Okay. I want to first start off, ladies, by talking about all the great and wonderful things that's going on in your schools. Okay, great. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm super excited about the staff that I have. Um, this year, I, I love my staff. They're so dedicated, and um, they're working with me. We're doing a lot of changes um, to how we meet the needs of our students, and so I could not do half of the things that um, need to be done if it weren't for a supportive staff. So um, first and foremost, love my staff, and I'm excited about this new school year. Um, one of the things that we're doing, and one of our priorities this year, is social-emotional learning. And so I'm very excited um, about uh, the curriculum that we're um, going to be using. It's going to be the same curriculum that the middle school uses. And actually, um, as you know, it's going to be a Spring Lake thing mm -hmm. um, so that all of our babies at uh, the elementary schools will learn about social emotional learning and the different competencies and then as they move into middle school they'll be more prepared um, for the struggles that they face there and when they get to high school they'll be well-rounded and know how to interact with other students um, in different situations. Um, one of our other parts is literacy. Um, that is another focus for us this year, and so we're doing a very big push, and I am so excited that we're partnering with the um, Cumberland County um, Public Library again. Um, they've done many events for us, and they come out to our events, and so we're very excited to work with them. We're going to do a library card drive. We're doing giveaways. Um, we have read boxes so that our students will be able to pick up books. And if they like the book, they can keep the book. Uh -huh. um, if they have a book that they want to um, provide so that somebody else can read it, uh, it's like a book exchange without needing um, to check it into the media center. And of course, in our media center, our media coordinator is very excited about incorporating different technologies, uh, doing maker space. So we have um, so much going on. We also um, have vision field trips. So each grade level uh, and each year we add on a, another grade level and we take uh, different trips so to help our children catch the vision of Good. what's coming up next. So one that we've been doing the longest mm -hmm. is with our second graders and they actually cross the street and go over to Spring Lake Middle School. Yay. They get the full tour so they know that everything that they're learning in second grade in an elementary school is preparing them for middle school. And then um, last year we did this and I'm looking forward to doing it again, going to Pine Forest High School. Our third graders will do that and then we'll, we, with each grade level, they go up, we move up in education level and give them a different experience. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about our partnership mm -hmm. with Spring Lake Middle School. They have their host students come over to our school and they get into the classroom with our students okay. and provide additional support. And it gives our students another chance to see some just amazing um, Spring Lake Middle School, middle school students um, as examples and as role models for what they can do um, if they keep their ego pride here mm -hmm. um, and then cross that street and do amazing things at the middle school. So um, that is just a few of the things that we are so excited about in Manchester Elementary. Okay, great. Ms. A? Well, and we love the partnership and HOST was actually a uh, program that I was involved in when I was a student mm -hmm. at Spring Lake Junior High. Um, and it stands for helping other students to succeed. Okay. And so it's about community in, in the Spring Lake mm -hmm. um, schools. And speaking of community, I must mention three of my um, classmates mm -hmm. who are still giving back to the school. Okay. So um, I have to thank Beatrice Melendez McGill and Bianca um, Holman, and she's, mm -hmm. um, she's married now. I can't think of her last name mm -hmm. right now. And then Marva. Um, who's with, uh, she has a real estate company and a hair salon, okay. but they have just been giving back because they remember 
um, attending Spring Lake, mm -hmm. um, then junior high school, and what it did for them. And so okay. they're bringing school supplies and mm -hmm. supplies for teachers and mm -hmm. food. And Beatrice has a bombshell network where she does modeling and pageants. Okay. And so she spoke to the girls about self-esteem. And so I just think as we, you know, um, tap into the great community that we have, mm -hmm. you know, um, we'll do, continue to do great things. Um, we have what's called our Bronco to Bronco mentoring program. Okay. And so every student in the building has an assigned mentor. Okay. And so all adults associated with Spring Lake Middle School, they're responsible for a student because I want every student to know that they are seen and heard mm -hmm. and that they have at least one you know, person in the building that's all for them. So the custodians, the teachers, the cafeteria workers, the bus drivers, everyone has um, a mentor. And um, we have outside mentors. So they're the Spring Lake Police Department, mm -hmm. they have uh, men uh, mentees in the building. Mayor Dobbins, mm -hmm. he has mentees in the building. Mm -hmm. And so the, the children are building their student agency. And so if they need assistance, if they have questions, they know they can go to that person. We also um, have a genius hour. We used to have genius hour at the end of the day on Friday. We're gonna do that after school um, this year. Um, and of course, our Spring Lake Broncos, we're known for our athletic championships. Yay. And so please, anyone out there, contact Mr. Stroud um, if you want to assist and volunteer with our athletic department. And then we are um, this year having entrance meetings with our eighth graders. So in the past, I've been having exit interviews with our eighth graders. Mm -hmm. So we discuss their data, we discuss you know their goals for the future, what colleges um, have those particular majors. Do they need to go to college? Do they need to go to university, a trade school, mm -hmm. um, FTCC? We're really tapping into their choice. What do they want to do? What problem do they want to solve in the world? What are they good at? And how can they make the money that they would like to make? And then, you know, focus their plans on that. And so um, we're gonna have them at the beginning of the year this year good. and and kind of get them um, started early. Uh, we sent 13 students to the early college um, this year. Love and it. so each year, um, that number has been increasing, and so um, we're going to target some more students to see if we can help parents save two years off of their there you go. tuition. There you go. <laughs> now, Ms. Say, can you explain mm -hmm. Genius Hour to the audience? So, Genius Hour, um, some people call it clubs, mm -hmm. and so what we have our students do is tell us what they are interested in. For example, last year we had an anime club, a chess club. Um, who I would love to take, you know, to a, a competition mm -hmm. out of state. We had cooking club. Um, so whatever they think of, we had a drama club, a choir. Um, we match the adult talents with the student um, interest. Good. And then those okay. students go there. And so you have sixth, seventh, and eighth graders in the room together mm -hmm. collaborating. Um, constructing models, you know, with Legos, you know, our robotics team. Okay. And so none of the students really thought about, oh, that's an eighth grader in here. I'm a sixth grader. Mm -hmm. It was just, you're interested in this. I'm interested. Let's work together, you know, to be creative. And so um, we're looking to incorporate that into our after school program um, with our tutoring. So students will be able to receive tutoring and go to their genius hour throughout the week. I love it, I love that. I, I really like that, um, and that reminds us, because that building community is mm -hmm. a piece that I think is so difficult, especially with uh, the needs of our students on how to um, just interact with one another. Mm -hmm. um, it's so very easy to see the differences and so very hard to see what makes us similar, what makes us um, the same sometimes, mm -hmm. um, especially in this day and time, so having that opportunity to build community. We're doing uh, a, a community building um, event as well. Uh, we're, we're taking on the house system 
Um, so we did a prototype last year and ran it with our uh, the classes that were involved with our school improvement team representatives. So we did their classes, and that was something that was just uh, so wonderful to see. So you have kindergartners all the way up to fifth graders in a room together, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. working together, mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't about oh this is a this is a big kid and I'm afraid of a big kid. Right. This this person is my buddy. This person is my partner. And to see these kids um, in their element, mm -hmm. um, helping each other out. You know, it's just so wonderful. So I, I love that about your Genius mm -hmm. Hour. Um, and we're looking to do our school-wide uh, rollout of the house system coming up toward the end of this month. So we're very, we're very excited about that. Oh, great, okay. Now ladies, we all know as principals, it's very stressful, okay? A anxious, anxiety, I mean, you mm -hmm. name it. So what are some of the things you do to de-stress? What do you like to do in your free time, Kylie? Well, um, I have I've learned uh, the importance of taking care of me because um, you can run on all cylinders and then eventually you're going to run out. Mm -hmm. um, so this year I've I've changed a couple of things. I found out I like to paint. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> when I get a you know um, a quiet moment, a quiet time, I'll go in and paint something, and it doesn't have to be a Rembrandt or a Picasso. Mm -hmm. It's just something it's I like and. Um, sometimes my kids like and put in requests <laughs> and I'll, I'll paint something for them. So um, I do that thing. I am now in love with yoga. Okay. I am not very flexible <laughs> and I do not care. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they make these beautiful apps on your phone mm -hmm. and then you can throw it up on your smart TV and uh, you know you can do your down dog and, and mm -hmm. everything else mm -hmm. and uh, shavasana and, and, and have a time to kind of like center yourself. So mm -hmm. I'm really um, loving that. And my new thing now is I've, I've changed my eating habits um, because I gained weight in this position. I gained a lot of weight in this position because working late, too mm -hmm. tired to um, eat, not eating lunch, mm -hmm. which we've all been guilty of, mm -hmm. um, you know, because you're trying to do 500 things during that lunch hour um, and be in the cafeteria with your kids as they're eating lunch. So um, I've learned the importance of stopping and, and having some meal time for myself, and I've changed that up, and I've removed all meat and animal products from my, from my diet. And so now my thing is to support other African-American vegans mm -hmm. um, through Instagram, so that's what I do. And that's been really fun. That whole experience and transition has been um, fun for me. So those are the things that I do in my downtime mm -hmm. um, to de-stress. Okay, thank you. So we have to get together because I enjoy yoga as well. All right. Haven't been doing it as much um, lately, but I do enjoy it. And so we started a wellness room okay. at Spring Lake Middle. Okay. So we have workout equipment and exercise videos, including yoga. And so after school, mm -hmm. um, and we said we're going to get better at this this year, uh, we go into the wellness room and the staff exercises. Great. Yeah, awesome. and yeah, and it was funny, you know, to see the kids' reactions when we came out. Especially, you know, I had on yoga pants, and, and they were like, <laughs> "Miss Shit, what are you doing?" And so, um, just exercising and yoga, meditation is important. Um, and then, uh, I love to eat, mm. but I love to cook as well. And I cook, and then I bake a couple of specialty, you know, cakes. And so um, try to make them healthy so that, you know, stress doesn't turn into stress eating and, you know, there you go. go the wrong way. Yeah. But I do enjoy um, cooking. And I do enjoy eating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't enjoy cooking, but I enjoy chewing. I love to chew. I chew very well. <laughs> Well, ladies, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I wish you well at Manchester Elementary Thank and you, you well at Spring Lake Middle. We've got Thank to do you. this again. We Maybe can. next time Brenda can join us. Yes. Oh, no. yes. Come on, Brenda. Uh, yes. 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 We've got to get Brenda to join us. Mm -hmm. But I wish you well. I wish you a successful school year. And thank you, Bronco Exchange audience, for, you, for viewing my show. I'm Dr. Shanessa Fenner. Have a good one. Hold up, don't run, I don't buy